James. They were sort of like the original White Claw. I don't, I don't even know what a White Claw is. White Claw came out after um, my drinking days were over. I was out of the league, you know? Speak, speaking of which, every year you got to bring it up in baseball. The greatest contract ever signed, the Bobby Bonilla. Bobby Bonilla Day, July 1st. New York Mets pay him $1.19 million right through 2035. You know? Tell you, there's a guy who wasn't, doesn't have to worry about should I get Bitcoin or not. He doesn't give a fuck. Gets a whole sack of money. Man, he's got to live in like Florida. He's got to be in one of those no... no uh, no state taxes. Just out of curiosity, before there was, before they did tax your income, like how did they pay for all this shit? And how do we get back to that? Can you imagine if you got to keep your whole fucking check? <laughs> I mean, just imagine the fun you would have, that extra fucking couple hundred bucks every week. Just imagine the fun you would have not saving that either, blowing that, scraping nickels together on Tuesday and brown bagging it on Wednesday. You, you could have an extra fucking two to $300 of fun, whatever the hell it was, whatever you make. I don't know what the hell you make. Um, man, those were the days. I was smart enough to not, um, I, had a, I did have a car payment, and when I paid that thing off, I remember it like, I just didn't like it. I didn't like owing people money. And uh, some of the guys that I worked with would go out and go buy new cars. Um, you know, uh, which part of me wishes I did. But, I mean, I didn't know where my life was going. My life was going. I just, I just knew I sucked at everything. I sucked at everything that had to do with school. And school, the way it was sold to me, was your ticket to being successful. Like, if you were bad at school... That was it. You know, you'd see the kids that were in honors classes, top of the class, and you're just thinking like, oh, man, that guy's going to be driving down the street in a Rolls Royce convertible, chomping on a big cigar, you know? And I was, you know, going to summer school, hanging with all the fucking, you know, class clowns, meatheads, musicians, drug addicts. <laughs> I want to say most of us in summer school ended up in sales because everybody was fucking hilarious and you just, I don't know, I just wanted to be around them. They were a lot more fun than the honors class. Not saying all the honors class kids were eggheads, but for the most part, they were definitely uh, introverted, you know? And I was like, well, I already suck at school, you know? Am I going to suck quietly? <laughs> <laughs> or can I hang with these knuckleheads and laugh, at least laugh my ass off rather than sitting here uh, acting like I'm thinking when I'm not. Um, anyway, but if I could go back, if I could go back in time and chain myself to my day job and not have, uh, and not have any, uh, you know, options financially at that point, I would have... I would have traded, I would have upgraded my truck. I think I would have. I think I probably would have gotten the Ford range of 4x4 that one of the guys I worked with had with the nice fucking rims and the big tires and a fucking roll bar, you know, and some neon green risky business shades. And that would have been it. Me and my fucking... Orange head of hair coming down the street, listening to fucking ACDC in a 4x4. Four four, clearing out a new fucking place to drink. That's what would have happened back in the day. But not, not old conservative Bill. Not all, oh, I don't know about that, Billy. I kept my four-cylinder, no air conditioning, black vinyl fucking seats. <laughs> fucking fire engine red, well... Ended up having an engine fire in the thing. I've told you guys these stories before. Um, anyway, 